Hi, welcome to another edition of A Walk in the Carpenter Shop. We are thinking about ways that we grow deeper in our journey of faith. We're thinking about ways that uh, God is growing us up and moving us and changing us. Uh, we're reminded that Jesus spent a lot of time as a child, I would imagine, in the carpenter shop, working alongside his earthly father Joseph, learning how to do things and develop certain skills. And that's what we're doing in these conversations. Hopefully they're helpful to you. We have a number of seasons uh, past, and then we're in the middle of a season right now where we're sharing what we think is some biblical truth with you, and hopefully uh, you're growing from it. Today, I want to read you a passage of Scripture we find in 1 Samuel 17, 47. It says this, Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord. Now, if you think about it, especially that Old Testament, the Bible is full of battle language. It really is. Who is in control? Exodus 15.3 says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. A courageous prophet told King Jehoshaphat, Do not be afraid or dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, it is God. He says that in 2 Chronicles. King Hezekiah told his people, Be strong and courageous, don't be afraid or dismayed before the king of Assyria, nor before the multitude that is with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us, the Lord, God, he'll help us and he'll help fight our battles. Again, in 2 Chronicles. See, we live in a day and age where it's easy to fall into the trap and think that our foes are winning. Who are our foes? Well, if you're a follower of God, you immediately default to Satan and his army of demons and those that don't believe in God and battling against you. And so we're in battles all the time. We're in battles against the culture. We're in battles for right and wrong. We're in battles for the souls of our kids. We're in battles in political arenas. We're in battles in the places that we find ourselves at work. We're in battles trying to keep the name of Jesus in front of people in the public square. We just seem to be battling all the time. There are days, I've been there and I know you've been there too, where we get discouraged and we think, man, we're just losing the battle. But here's what you have to remember. It's an old song, it's an old truth, but it just rings true in Scripture over and over and over again. The battle is not ours, it never has been. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we fight with weapons. We fight with all those things that we know how to use. But at the end of the day, the one that we have in our corner does the fighting for us, and the one that we have in our corner is willing to be in front of us and to charge. We have to learn to be obedient and follow. I think some of the reasons that we get beat so often or feel like we're getting beat so often in battles is because we're not following Jesus, we're trying to lead Jesus. And that's probably a discussion for a different time, a different series, and another place. But for now, let me just encourage you, when you hear the news, when you read the headlines, when you kind of navigate life, and sometimes it doesn't sound so good. Smile and thank God for the opportunities that you have to make a difference in the lives of others. Share His love with those. Touch and change the life of others. And let God do the fighting, for the battle really does belong to Him. Learning to be a fighter, but more importantly, learning how best to fight, is an important lesson that you can only learn in the carpenter shop. I look forward to joining you here again next time.